Hey guys, what the list? Is back again with the second video in the series of the Anglo-Saxon literature. As we already mentioned in the previous video, wait, if you have not yet watched our introduction video, no worries. The link is in the description and you can watch it after this video. But if you are new to our channel, do subscribe it for lit content. Beowulf. Remember the pronunciation inside we imparted? Yes, Beowulf is today's topic for discussion. It is the oldest surviving English epic poem. It describes the story of a Germanic warrior. The story spans in the period between the 5th century and the 8th century and is set in Scandinavia. Beowulf is a story told by the pioneers of the land from where they came. It is one of the most translated texts in history. Beowulf was basically an oral poem. It was the one that was disclosed from remembrance and passed from person to person. It is more or like the game called Chinese Whispers or best understood as our party's Puranis because each time the story is narrated it varies slightly and over a period of time the story changes a lot. Beowulf was a story customarily told in social gatherings, dinners, weddings and other festivities. Like many of us follow our traditional customs. If you follow any traditional belief without knowing the real reason behind it, share it with us in the comments. After three centuries of oral transference, the poem was ultimately penned down by two Christian monks in the 11th century. Without them, we wouldn't have had a single manuscript for Beowulf. Basically, these monks were like those first bench note takers in our classes from whom we all beg and borrow notes. Yeah. As it is an oral poem and penned down by Christian monks, many Christian elements can be found in this poem. This blend of pagan tradition and Christian ideas becomes difficult to narrow down it under a single frame. Plot of Beowulf begins with a Rodka, king of Danes, one of Sile's heir. Wait, this isn't the proper way to narrow the story. Here I go again. Once upon a time, the king of Danes, Rodger, Sile's heir, built a mead hall near the sea called Herod. A mead hall is a construction with a grand central room where the king and his thanes gathered to feast, drink and socialize in all Germanic cultures. The mead hall was an indication of the king's power. It was the spot where he spent most of his time and was regarded as the most sheltered place in the whole kingdom. Just imagine, king's pub was the safest place in the country. But Herod was constantly attacked and terrorized by a vicious monster called Grendel. These atrocities of Grendel crossed over the sea and reached the ears of our hero, Beowulf. Immediately, the powerful young warrior came to Rodger's aid as he was his father's friend. Even without armor, our hero Beowulf ripped off the arm of the monster Grendel. Seeking revenge, Grendel's mother, Meowulf, <laughs> I was just wondering how could evil be portrayed in any ancient literature without a female antagonist? <laughs> she arrives at Herod and takes away Eshera, the advisor of Rodka. Angered by this, our hero attempts a fight with the Meowulf. Fortunately, he finds a magical sword hanging on the wall of Meowulf's cave of treasures. Grabs the sword and slices the head of Meowulf. The blade of the sword melts away. He then brings Meowulf's head and the sword to Rodka and is appreciated by Rodka and his people. After the decline of two gay kings, Beowulf accepts the crown and he maintains peace with the neighboring kingdoms for about 50 years. Another challenge came his way in the form of a fire dragon which tormented his land and his people. In an attempt to save his people from the fire dragon, he lost his life, handing all the treasures to his faithful friend Wiglaf and to the people of his country. 
Beowulf was an honorable man. His sad ending made the people mourn for their unselfish hero Beowulf. But still, they all sang and danced for this epic poem just like a pallbearer boys. That's all about the story. Some of the major points to be noted are the mastery of the language which presents the significance of Anglo-Saxon cultural values, the verbal eminence of the poem and the physical supremacy of Beowulf go hand in hand. Beowulf is a vernacular poetry which incorporates simple language in conveying an extraordinary story. The usage of rhetoric and formal exaggeration has added epic literally and figuratively epic beauty to this poem finally the themes found in beowulf are good versus evil loyalty death hospitality and heroic code though we don't have much information about the individual who created beowulf or whether he was real i would like to fantasize him as real Click the like button if you love fantasizing about fictional characters as real. And that's it. We are done for today. Hope you share the video with your friends and make them aware of the very first English epic poetry. Do not let them feel that. Video video kada kete grindel ko bevel chitta pal. Stay healthy physically and intellectually. Slay ignorance and keep wondering. What the lit?